Today what I have for you is essential oil diffusion through passive diffusion. So if that interests you, I hope you stick around. Something called passive diffusion. And that is when you're not doing anything. It's just there. But the essential oils are vaporizing into the air and you're enjoying their benefits. Such as through aromatherapy jewelry, using anything porous like lava or terracotta. These are some of my favorite essential oil diffuser um, necklaces. This is from Mimosa Handcrafted. And here's a necklace that she makes. You see the, the terracotta in between the porcelain disc. You just put a few drops of essential oil on there. This is another one. It's glazed on the front, but the terracotta is unglazed in the back. And so you put a few drops like that. You may also be familiar with clay type diffuser. So for example, this is um, a little Christmas ornament that I got a few years back. And you just, I actually hang this one in my car. And this is how all passive diffusers work. You just simply put the appropriate number of drops depending on the medium that you're using in the space that you wanna cover. So you just put, so I'm just gonna put one drop. And you can see the terracotta quickly absorbs it and then you can just smell. It just passively diffuses into the air. The same on these necklaces. Um, I would just put a drop. Now this is lemon, so I don't want to put lemon on there just because it will be close to my skin. So when you're wearing jewelry, you want to use what I call skin friendly essential oils. Essential oils that aren't known to be hot or irritating to the skin or phototoxic. And then there's a few hacks. This is something that's actually called a sugar keeper. So you put this in brown sugar and it keeps it from getting um, all hard and compact. So I'll again use the lemon. And you don't have to be fancy and you can see because it's just simply terracotta. It absorbs it really quickly. You can put this, um, depending on the scent of course, you, if you use lavender, you can put it in your linen drawers or closet. If you want lemon smell in your kitchen, of course you can use lemon. Just put this out on the counter or maybe in your pantry. You can tie a little ribbon. This is an easy way to make a car diffuser, obviously. Put a little ribbon and hang that in your car. You can put them um, in your bathroom closets or maybe you want to use peppermint because Insects don't like peppermint, and so to put peppermint on something like this and put around um, in your kitchen cabinets or your bathroom cabinets underneath. Mm -hmm. Even more economical ways would be to repurpose your toilet tissue, cardboard um, little inner cores, or paper towel cores. This was actually paper towel that I cut into, I think, six or eight different sections, about one and a half to two inches, and I put a few drops of orange on them. I have several of them, and I just threw them in my linen closet. But one of my favorite things is to keep these sleeves from Starbucks. So you don't even have to buy a car diffuser. Simply add a few drops of whatever you want to diffuse while you're driving, and you can stick it in your air vent. And you've got a passive car diffuser on the go. This is actually the first type of diffuser I ever used, and Oracacia still makes them. It's a little ceramic aromatherapy ring. Now, the only problem with these is it needs heat, and most of today's light bulbs don't emit any heat. So you need the traditional round light bulbs for these to work, but they work very well. Not the LED lights or the spiral little um, fluorescent looking lights and you simply put a few drops of essential oil inside the little well, put it on top of your light bulb, and then the heat will cause it to diffuse. Um, very inexpensive, these run for like $5. And here's one more way to diffuse essential oils that's kind of pretty, pretty and passive, and that is using, wait till you see what comes out of this. It's so pretty. Pink Himalayan sea salt. So this is just a little bowl, um, and you could put your little rocks. You don't want fine, 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 it'll spill, but your little chunks of sea salt in there, and then you can add your essential oil directly to that. It 
because this is going to go in a room, you can fill it up with a great number. This is not something that um, you're going to be putting on your body or anything, and you want and you want it to last a little while. So I put about 20 drops, and it just smells wonderful. So lemon, I love in the kitchen. If this was in your bathroom, maybe you wanted to do something you enjoy in your bathroom, like lavender or a favorite blend, whatever you enjoy, and then just put this anywhere that is safe where children or pets obviously wouldn't knock that over. One thing that is porous, you can use for passive diffusion. Keep in mind that essential oils can be, for lack of a better word, corrosive or break materials down. So you don't want to use it on anything that you would not want to be ruined. That's why the little terracotta, lava, salt, um, cardboard make great affordable options for passive defeat. Thanks so much for being with us. I hope you found this helpful. If you have some favorite ways that you like to passively diffuse essential oils, leave that for us in the comments below. And we'll see you next time.